Today's my birthday! Yay! I was planning to go to Sephora today to get like a nice blush. Guys, I'm ready. Day one of being a senior is done. Uh, it went okay. I hope I did well to the new interns. Guys, I'm home. Do you want updates about today? Yes, why not? You need updates about today. So today, July 1st, which is beginning of residency for everyone, for a lot of people, especially for the new residents, meaning intern. I just love how this light is coming on my face. So I'll keep it like this. It was my first day as a PGY3 resident, meaning a third year resident. Now third year resident in other specialties like internal medicine, they have already experienced being a senior as second year residents because they have interns who are working under them. But for neurology as second year residents, we are actually new to neurology. So we are still kind of in the shadow of someone just in case if we need help. Third year is basically the first time in neurology when we are holding the team by ourselves and then we have interns under us who we need to help out with. So this was basically my first experience working with interns as a senior. And I really, really, really hope that I did well to them, meaning I was able to help them. I was able to be nice, kind to them and to be able to answer those questions. They were actually super nice. They were well prepared, knew the things to do, asking questions instead of like making decisions by themselves, which is what is required in the beginning. So that went all great. Thankfully, we did not have a long list. So we were able to manage through everything. And then where did the sunlight go? And then we also had med students on our team. So as a senior also, like I wanted to make sure that med students are involved and there's some learning or teaching going on with them. So overall, a very new experience, but also a good experience. I would say and I hope that we all get better in this together so yeah looking forward to growing Good morning guys this is Tuesday and today I have to go back to work yeah no surprise but it's already 6 a.m. so I have to quickly rush up mm -hmm. gotta take your vitamins I'm already in blue scrubs today I take vitamin D and B12, that's it. I am back home and it's almost like 7.30 p.m. Meaning that almost in an hour, the sun will set. So right now you still see sunlight coming on my face. In one hour, we will not see that. But come on, forget about sunlight. I still glow without sunlight. But jokes aside, day two of being on the general service, we have a good group of diverse patients and different kind of pathologies which is pretty interesting in my previous vlog i did talk about a condition called neuromyelitis optica and there is another condition which is anti-nmda encephalitis and we have a patient of anti-nmda encephalitis with us on our service this is actually also like a very interesting diagnosis and also very crucial to diagnose at the right point and start the treatment at the right time so yeah that's what is going on with this patient unfortunately in the beginning the patient was at a different hospital was not initially diagnosed with the condition then got diagnosed and then was transferred to our hospital now getting treated still not doing that great but hopefully should recover <laughs> eventually so yeah that's one interesting patient that we have we have one patient with the potential giant cell arthritis which is also an interesting one to see if they, they find out something and if it is actually gca that's pretty much what is like on top of my list to talk to you about right now what i'm going to do is prepare dinner and then work on few things here's the food i made like sourdough bread open sandwich i guess it is basically sourdough bread lettuce tomato and a sweet potato patty i might put some sauce on it yeah that's going to be my dinner i'm brisk walking because we need to reach in time it's Wednesday and that's why pink scrubs. Hey, hey, it's 
Thursday, but today is also 4th of July. So although I'm on inpatient service, we had this thing that we could do early sign out today because it's a holiday. So we all signed out at around 3 p.m. So I was done like around 3.30 and then I came back home. So it's almost like 4.40 night now, but I'm home and I have the whole evening to myself. So that's something like nice and exciting. Right now, actually, I'm going to just sit and chill for at least like 30, 40 minutes and think of what I want to do after that. But I'm happy my chai is getting prepared and I'm also going to have something with it. And yeah, that's it. Guys, I'm not sure when I last updated you, but today is Friday. In between, a lot of things happened. I don't even really remember when was the last time I gave you my update. But I was also on my first buddy call, meaning there are second year residents who have newly started into neurology and I am with them on this buddy call day. And basically it is their call, but I'm just there if they need help with anything. Basically like help with just navigating through the systems. I'm not like actively helping them into anything. Like most of the things are done by them. So that was my first buddy call, which was pretty rough for some someone who was on call for the first time like there were back-to-back -back, like stroke attacks so I just felt bad but this happens this is so normal besides that today guess what is today I'm giving you two seconds to guess I'll tell you <laughs> today's my birthday it's my birthday today at this point at least i don't have any plans it's almost like 7 30 i also came home late like there were some things that i had to finish up and also because i will not be working on this weekend i mean i will for a few hours i will be working again as a buddy call but besides that i wouldn't be working so i wanted to make sure that i have everything nicely organized for someone else who's going to cover on the weekend and plus we had some additional work up to follow for a patient so that took some time yeah so that's all right now the weather is so hot so i just took out something to eat from the fridge when you watched me doing that and i'm going to yeah have something to eat take care of few more tasks so residency there are two things either you starve or you eat junk or third you try to have a balance so i'm in that category of trying to have a balance so i'll eat something nice healthy morning guys today is saturday and i'm my bed my mattress situation this is still i like informed you guys about this mattress situation in my previous video so go watch that vlog it was i think the first vlog but this mattress i need to replace it i'm just talking to them about how much more do i have to pay because the price has now increased so that is a conversation going on but hopefully in few days that should be sorted out so then i will have a new mattress exactly the same but new what i'm going to do right now i am actually now going to talk to my dad and in the meantime i'm going to prepare breakfast for me i'm going to prepare like a good nutritious heavy breakfast my phone battery is not that great so that is why i'm not going to go to the gym right now i'll go to the gym in the evening i also have to wash my hair but i think i'm going to do that in the evening too because today i am like on buddy call which i already explained to you yesterday since i'm on buddy call i'll be going to the hospital coming back so i'll anyway feel like i want to like freshen up or clean myself again when i come back home so i'm going to wash my hair in the evening and not right now but right now call home and then that's it look at my plant babies there it's so cute i'm talking to my mom dad my daddy today is beginning of the islamic new year so that's like a special thing i did my breakfast as well i still have my fruit sitting here so let me show you that so i had like scrambled eggs and toast and this is like the fruits that i'm having there's some background noise because of the vacuum cleaner in my lunch so let me show it to you here is what we have this is yogurt and this is some cherries that i've packed and of course my water bottle i am not taking lunch lunch with me because i just had breakfast and i had a good nice breakfast so i don't think i'll be that hungry and i would be coming back like 5 5 30 ish so then i'll have like probably early dinner or maybe something out we'll see we'll decide but yeah for now i think this is good for me and i don't think i'll feel hungry i'll be fine if i do then i'll just control myself you don't need to just eat every time so it's fine I'm all set to go just getting out of the house wearing my shoes and uh, I'm definitely going to get coffee on my way let's go it's I I have enough amount of time so I will be there in time but I want to make sure that I'm actually there before time so that you know any delays can happen on the way so 
back home from my call which was buddy call and i am actually going to meet a friend for dinner so we are going to a korean place i don't know what we are going to have there because there are so many options but this is a new place that we are going to try it would be fun so i'm going to definitely take you along with me right now i'm going to take a shower quickly wash my hair and get ready i'm by the way putting primer do you want to see which primer i use let me show you this is the primer i use and this is the best primer and this is benefit this is benefit the pore professional benefit the pore professional primer go for it smoothest nicest and it spreads your makeup like anything yeah i just tap the primer with my hand not just tap actually i'll just apply it all over my skin i'm also going to put on concealer over the areas of my face see this spreads so smoothly once i have applied that primer i'm not going for a lot of coverage so very little bit ah uh, hiding my mustache now let's straighten our hair what the hair looks like and i'm going to quickly do my makeup which will also be very fast quick this is the foundation i use this is not even actually a foundation but it has good coverage and it is lasting me so long this is uh, urban dynamic i guess that's the brand and this is the shade 51 it is basically like a tinted thing for blush i'm going to use this one from k beauty this is actually from india but i don't really like this product but it's cause it's like a lot of very liquidy fluid that comes out and i don't know if it is the problem with just this particular unit or is it a problem with all the product or whether it happened because of traveling but just a little bit of blush it is very nice and pigmented i'm thinking to get upgrade my blush soon oh by the way yeah that is what i was thinking to do i was planning to go to sephora today to get like a nice blush but unfortunately i did not have that much time so probably i'm going to go tomorrow and that's done and now i'm going to put some powder on my face this is a star cosmetics um, professional compact that was from my mom because she had a beauty salon so when she wrapped up during covid i got all the professional products i think this is pretty much it The reason why I did my makeup after doing my hair is because I can actually go out without makeup but not without my hair. Like if I don't do my hair, my hair would get so frizzy. Even if it is just a blow dry, I need to at least like dry my hair off. So what I look like, I have mixed like three shades of the lipstick and yeah, here's the final look. I know you can't see my dress, but it's just like a halter neck. I'll put a picture somewhere if I have it. It's actually not that late. It's like 9 p.m. I am pulling down my curtains right now. We had Korean food, as you would have already seen. Uh, it was Korean barbecue, and it was so yum, so yum. There is this like Korean yogurt drink that they gave it at the end, which was of course free, and I actually got it home. So I'm going to drink it now. First, I'm going to like get undressed, <laughs> freshen up, pray, and then I'm going to have that drink. Sunday. I had a great evening yesterday, and I have freshened up already today. I am actually going to grab coffee. I'm not going to eat much because I'm going for brunch like around 11 a.m. ish. I think I want to read my Kindle this morning, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to feel the guilt that I'm not doing anything productive. I'm going to read my Kindle. I just have to update one spreadsheet for our patient data, which I want to do first because otherwise I'll forget. done with like updating our spreadsheet and i was also looking up the spreadsheet of one of our patients that has like a very 
interesting case and the patient is also like very much involved in the research about his own case so it's very interesting and i was trying to fill up that spreadsheet as well just like going through all of this i just feel so 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 blessed for what i do and what i get to learn every day it's, i'm so grateful guys i'm ready did like kind of a hairdo i've not blow dried or straightened or anything from whatever is left from yesterday just tied it up to make it like a different look uh i'm wearing this thing which i showed you in my unboxing video and i paired it up with this crop top and that's all <laughs> I'm back and I'm tired. It was fun. I'm going to change and uh, make some chai, chill a little bit and then get to do some real work. But I'm more in a chill vibe this weekend. This weekend I'm also not having any calls with my students. I don't know whether it is good or bad because when I'm not having calls with my student I like slack off a little bit and I'm more lazy but when I have call with my students I automatically get started early I'm more productive throughout the day like I'm doing more productive things but I think I deserve like alternate breaks right I do I read a little bit on catching up on my fiction not even fiction book it is like a biography so I did that that was fun and relaxing I also got a little bit sleepy by the end of it but <laughs> I mean I don't didn't finish the book but by the end of that cha chapter I got a little bit sleepy now I'm going to go and like work on few things on my laptop I have to check up on my patients for tomorrow but that i'm going to do later i also am thinking that probably i want to like change the branding of my instagram page like the color scheme and stuff so i'm going to check up on that if i find that interesting otherwise i have uh, some literature review to do so i might do that in the morning i put clothes for my laundry and i forgot to put it in the dryer so that's what i'm going to do right now let's make dinner and it's going to be pull out today i actually did work finally i'm <laughs> then drying my clothes i did actually look into like rebranding my instagram page i have a few things in mind not sure when it will actually come into place i'll see when i get a chance i have communicated it with like my friend who is helping me with the instagram of course i don't do it all by myself so i mean if you don't follow me on instagram then this is the link to follow i'm pretty much active i reply to my dms i put out stories but a lot of it like the post and everything is pre-planned and scheduled because i literally don't have that much of time to do it every single day and post it every single day this is like time management being efficient and delegating work which i recommend everyone to do is here ready and i'm watching netflix this movie called shrikant uh, and this is like hot piping pulao that's it for this one i'll just wrap up after this get to bed 